Yes, if you saw it on Twitter, it's true. I did read Shadow and Bone, a YA fantasy, and I liked it. I know this is such a silly topic to make a video on because, you know, I don't really make review videos because I just... Who am I to be reviewing a book? But I think that this, this was an interesting thing for me um, to talk about because I think a lot of people were shocked when I said that I like Shadow and Bone and I think that that was funny to me. I mean, <laughs> it was really funny. I really enjoyed how people were like, oh my God, even, oh, I don't remember who it was, but somebody said this was the biggest twist of 2021 so far. But I thought, it got me thinking like, what book expert what going into a book with expectations does to a person and what having no expectations or having the right amount of expectations can change the reading experience for you. Now, let me get this straight. Shadow and Bone is not like a literary work of art. Like I, I, I just, it's, it's a silly, ridiculous book that is kind of really badly researched. Um, I mean, just the fact that the girl's name is Alina Sokono, what is it? I don't know, but it's not so, so, Sarkon, so, I don't remember her name, Sarkonova, because she, she's Russian, and you know, in Russian, you, you, it was very badly researched. There is a love triangle in it, which is the most ridiculous love triangle that I've ever read in my life. It was... It was so bad and the book just is not that great overall and yet my reading experience of it was a lot of fun I didn't like the book because I thought the book was a literary masterpiece or because I loved the world building or because of anything I liked the book because I went into the book with certain expectations. I went into the book thinking this is Sharknado, you know, I like exactly like I don't I don't go into Sharknado expecting some fantastical cinematic experience. I go into Sharknado knowing that it's Sharknado and that I'm going to have a good time watching a stupid B film. And that is exactly what this book is. It's just a stupid B film that is full of tropes and really badly written characters and all of that. And I knew that from the beginning. Like, I knew going into Shadow and Bone that it wasn't that great. And therefore, I was able to curve my expectations of it and enjoy myself just reading some trashy literature. I'm sorry if you really like it, but for me, it wasn't... It's just a trashy YA literature where there is this dark figure that falls in love with this girl for X, Y reason and, 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 and just it's so contrived and, and ridiculous and the whole story, I mean it felt like it was just going through the motions, you know? But that doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy it, that doesn't mean that I can't go into something thinking, okay, this is not going to be the next Great Gatsby. I, I, I don't care if you don't like Great Gatsby. I actually am not a big fan, but I I just want to compare it to something that everybody's like, oh yeah, that's really good, you know? So it, this is not like the next Great Gatsby or anything like that. But still, that doesn't mean that I can't enjoy it. And I know that nobody was saying that I can't enjoy it. But I just think that it's funny that we think, or at least people think that because of the books that I read and the how I rate books, that I couldn't possibly enjoy this book and rate it as high as I did. Because I honestly had a lot of fun, like, the, ma the, the, the premise of the book is already, like, ridiculous. Like, there's this darkness in the world and inside of it are these monsters and there's these people called the Grishas which are just basically X-Men and um, then there are 
orphans of war and then there's this girl who 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 suddenly in the in the midst of battle finds out that she's like the most important Grisha to ever exist and and she meets the Darkling which oh my god can we talk about the fact that he is named the Darkling like that's so dumb <laughs> but, but it fits it fits into the narrative of the book of for it to be that dumb you know and oh the Darkling is so mysterious Serious and so sexy and uh, and whatever and then and then there's her best friend Mal who doesn't realize she's in love with him since forever and he's like sleeping around and then when when she when she is taken away and she even shows the minimum amount of interest in someone else he's like oh my god you've been flirting you're such a slut and uh, now I realize that I really wanted you and it's so stupid. But I was prepared for that because I, I went into it, and I'm not saying. Uh, by the way, I'm, I, I'm gonna get in so much trouble for this video. But I'm not saying that all YA fantasy is like. I don't know. I I keep thinking of the word vaporous. I don't know why it vapors. I don't I, like. I'm not saying that all YA fantasy is like. Vapid, that's it. Vapid and, and, and empty and stupid. But the thing is, I went into this book thinking there's gonna be shit and it's gonna be shitty and you're gonna probably like it <laughs> because you're prepared for it. If you don't know, one of my favorite movies to watch of all time when I'm sick is Twilight. Yep, yep, yep. I watch Twilight. I watch the whole thing when I'm sick. Why? Because I want to feel like, you know, I'm not too much and I just want some stupid entertainment, you know? Again, I'm not saying that if you like Twilight, you're stupid, but let's be honest, the movies are not that great. Ne neither are a lot of other movies. Uh, okay, I'll put a better example. I really enjoy the Fast and Furious franchise and I harp, I harp on how bad the MCU is and on how bad a lot of big blockbusters are and yet I totally fangirl to the Fast and Furious franchise like sometimes you just need a little bit of vapid enjoyment in your life and what I got out of Shadow and Bone was precisely that I wasn't going into it being like, okay, this is going to be the next Dune or this is going to like impress me in any way. I went into it being like, hey, I can probably read this book in one day, in one sitting, and I did. And that's another thing. It just, it was enjoyable to read one book in one sitting and not have to think about it too much, you know? Again, it sounds like I'm like backhanding complimenting this book, which I probably am. But that's okay. Books are here to entertain you. Not necessarily does every book have to be about the next great American novel or, you know, the next big thing in literature. Sometimes books are just here for you to have a good time. No alcohol required. Let me know if you know where that's from. But, and that's what it was. I just had a good time. <laughs> and it was funny and it made me laugh because it was so stupid and so ridiculous. And, and yet I had a great time reading it. And it wasn't, I didn't enjoy the world building. I didn't focus on any of that. I was just focused on the fact that I was having a good time. It's like having, you know, it's like, it's like ordering a mojito. You're not there like, oh, this mojito is like, you know, oh my god, it was made with grapes from, do, they're not, they're not, it's not made from grapes, whatever. You're not sitting there doing a wine tasting with mojitos, you know? You're, you're drinking a mojito because you probably don't want to taste any alcohol and really want sugar in something sugary and sweet. Ain't nothing wrong with that, you know? <laughs> Sugary sweet drinks are great. So that's my tea on Shadow and Bone and why I enjoyed it. And I hope that you find this as lighthearted and as 
funny as I do. I, I am not saying that there's nothing of value in Shadow and Bone. Maybe you found something of value in it. Maybe you really liked it. I love that for you. I am so happy. I didn't and that's okay. But you know what I did find? A good time when I was having a shit time and I think we should really appreciate books like that too it doesn't always have to be something deep and 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 you know like it doesn't always have to be dark academia or or a classic or something like that it doesn't have to be that you just have to have a good time and I had a good time so and because I base my ratings on how much of a good time I had reading a book that's why you have something like um uh what's that called is it is it I'm sorry I read it in Spanish so I don't I have to look up the title in English now is it blindness just blindness yeah it's called blindness so it's, you know, I gave Blindness, which is a Nobel Prize winning book, I gave it two stars. Because I did not enjoy the experience of reading that book, and we'll get into that later because I'm doing a whole yearly wrap up, don't worry, it's only 14 books because this year I haven't read a lot. And I, and I will explain, like, I gave that book two stars because my enjoyment of reading that book was really not there. I didn't enjoy reading that book. I saw a lot of problematic shit in it and I literally problematic shit like yeah we go there in that book but that doesn't matter like it, 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 it but I understand that it has literary merit well Shadow and Bone got a four star just because it made me chuckle like it made me giggle there's, <laughs> there's this part in Shadow and Bone where the darkling does this move and i'm and i'm like i'm like buddy i i was buddy reading it with a friend and we were both like really they call it the cut like <laughs> first like yeah it, it was funny i got a chuckle out of it it's like oh darkling you just did the cut you know <laughs> it was a fun book it was funny that's the tea on it it's it's really nothing other than I really needed something light and something fun and this provided that light, fun, stupid... I'm sorry I keep saying stupid because it's not stupid, like it's not stupid and I don't want to be so negative but I just don't can't think of another word. It's like, it's like gratuit... Oh, I can't say that word. Gratuit... Grat, grat, gratuitous, gratuitous entertainment and it's not stupid it's not stupid i'm sorry i keep saying stupid it's it's just fun it's just fun and it's okay to just have fun with a book and it's okay to enjoy a book where you just have fun it's okay to like twilight and to like harry potter and to like whatever the fuck you want to like you know and i know that nobody was saying that it wasn't okay that i like this book nobody literally said that people were just shocked at the fact that I liked it. Am I going to continue on with the series? Probably not <laughs> because mm, no I don't think so. I don't think so because I I know what I'm I know what's like I can tell you right now what's gonna happen and I'm in book two is probably gonna be boring because it's gonna have book two syndrome so um, I'm probably not gonna read it but you know it was fun while it lasted. We had a good time. You know what it was like? It's that summer summer romance thing where you know you you have a summer romance, but that's it. Like it ends when the summer ends and then you go home and you have all the good memories. <laughs> but it's not the guy you're going to marry or it's, but it's not the person you're going to marry, you know? That's it. I'm not going to marry Shadow and Bone. But it gave me some much needed comic relief when I needed it. <laughs> anyway, that is the tea. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really sorry that I kept saying the word stupid. I just can't think of any other word. Not The book is not stupid. You're not stupid for reading it. I would never say that. I would never say that anybody is stupid for reading or enjoying a book. Um, if, if anything, I'm stupid because I don't understand a lot of the books that I read <laughs> but this one I understood um but yeah let me know down below if you've read Shadow and Bone let me know what you thought about it let me know if the Grisha trilogy is one of your favorites 
Um, I know that a lot of people tell me Six of Crows is, is better, but I kind of, I have, I, I own Six of Crows. I got it for my birthday a while, like, like four birthdays ago. Um, I declared it, but I haven't been able to really declare my books because all of my libraries are closed. So they're all like stacked in a closet. So I might take it out and read it. I don't know. We'll see. Sometimes you just need to get your YA on and that's perfectly fine. YA is a perfectly acceptable um, style of literature or genre of literature or whatever. It's perfectly acceptable, perfectly normal to enjoy reading it. So do yourself a favor and enjoy reading the books that you read. Um, and I hope that this clears it up for anyone that was like, why the fuck did you lock Shadow and Bone? So yeah. That's it, that's the video. The video is basically enjoy what you enjoy. So, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for those of you that have stuck around. Thank you so much for those of you who have asked about my mental health. I'm doing as well as I can be doing. Um, I wish I was doing better, but we'll get there. I'll get there because I'm a, I'm a strong ass cookie, you know? Without any further ado, I bid you adieu with a friendly reminder that I post three times a week or that I'm trying to and that I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Bye!